Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Monday. So a lot of power flowing in today, especially the end of a tough cycle for the masculine. So they know full well now, you know, that they want to release karmic cycles in their life, karmic people in their life and move towards a new beginning with you. And the daily angel reading for Tuesday is super powerful. A new romantic cycle begins and that's what's coming into your connection. So because there's a lot of karmic endings happening right now and a lot of changes and things fully shifting and turning around, I'm going to bring in a gorgeous deck. We love this deck. This is Message from the Divine Masculine to Divine Feminine by Enchanting Empress of Light, Oracle and Tarot. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know? Wow. What do the masculines want to say to you today, Divine Feminine? What do they want to say? There's something I want to tell you. But I don't know how you're going to react. Well, you're not reacting, Divine Feminine. You're responding. And that's a good thing because whatever they tell you, you're going to respond to this with love. And I feel what they want to tell you is that they are ending tough cycles, that they are making changes. And because they're thinking, I don't know how you're going to react, that shows there's insecurity there about whether you want them or not. You know, he's thinking, what if you don't want me? I don't know how you're going to react to this change because I might come with baggage. So he's worrying about that. And we've got the number 56. Five is about change and six is about the ego and the physical world. So he's making changes in his physical world. And his ego is creating fear around that thinking, how are you going to react? You know, I've got something I want to tell you, but I don't know how you're going to react. And he wants to tell you he loves you. He wants to tell you he wants to live his life with you and spend time with you and be a family with you. And he's in fear. He's thinking, how are you going to react to that? Well, you're not going to react to that at all. You're going to respond with love. He's saying, remembering the pain that I caused you kills me inside. I would give anything to take that back. And this is the number 53, connected with changes that we need to have faith in. So he's saying to you, there's something I want to tell you. I want to tell you that I'm so sorry I caused you all that pain. That it kills me inside and I would give anything to take that back. But I don't know how you're going to react when I tell you that. And you're going to respond with love. So this is again an apology coming from the masculine. A big sign of change. Wanting to begin a new cycle with you. Wanting to end the past. Wipe the slate clean forgiveness coming in here and power and I love this because you know when I connect with this deck you've got Lestat because obviously this is the queen of the damned you know connection you've got Lestat here as a divine masculine the eternal love you've got the amazing Jesse as a divine feminine and then you've got you know the energy of Akasha who's the karmic partner so that energy always there in the background there and we've got the divine masculine here saying to you, I can't believe that I walked away. So these, what he's showing you in these cards, there's no energy coming into this reading at all with Akasha, which means the karmic partner is bye-bye. All that matters is the divine masculine and the divine feminine. So all that matters is you and your twin. And he's saying to you, I can't believe I walked away from the best thing that ever happened in my life. So he's saying to you, you are the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. And I can't believe I did that to you. I can't believe I walked away from you. And I left you because I was too scared to tell you the truth. I'm a coward. So what he's going to do, he's going to come towards you and he's going to admit everything. He's going to tell you this because he's saying there's something I want to tell you but I don't know how you're going to react so what he's going to tell you is I've been a coward I've been such a coward I left you because I was too scared to tell you the truth and the truth is you're the best thing that ever happened in my life you're the best thing that's ever happened to me and I can't believe I walked away from you I can't believe I caused you that pain it kills me inside to know I did that to you and I would give anything to take that back. So he's going to try his hardest now to make up for the past. And this is why a new romantic cycle is beginning in your connection. Because he's owning up to that truth. He's putting his hands up and he's saying, 
I know it was me. I know I was a coward. I know I did you wrong. I know I walked away. I should have admitted things to you at the time, but I didn't and I'm sorry and I hope you can forgive me for that. I've got so much I want to tell you and get off my chest. I want to be honest with you. I just don't know how you're going to react. And this is what's coming in, spontaneity. This is why we're being guided as divine feminines to be ready for anything because the masculines are preparing. They're preparing for change, big things coming in. So for example, you know, if you're in union like me and the masculines have said things like, I don't want to get married, I don't want commitment, any of those things, they're changing their mind about these things because they're dealing with their insecurities and fears and core wounds about it. So again, just like you may be waiting for a message, someone in union may be waiting for a ring or mating, waiting for something else. They're giving me the words mating maybe waiting for a baby or a child. So these are things coming in. So remember, it's not just divine feminines in separation that are waiting for this confirmation. It's coming in all situations. The masculine's now in this energy where they're taking control. They're becoming spontaneous. So divine feminine, be ready for anything because anything can happen. And most importantly, when your masculine comes towards you and he will, Make sure you're responding with love, not reacting in fear. So when he apologizes and brings everything up that he's done, don't go over it and over it because it will bring him pressure, fear, pain. It will make him feel bad. And then he'll start running again, walking away again because he feels like such a coward, a fool. And he doesn't want to feel that way. So instead of going over the past, just love him. Just love her. Just respond in a loving way and say it's going to be okay because all your masculine really wants right now is to come to you and lay their head on your chest to lay their head on your breast and feel safe and that's the power of this eternal love i hope this helps have a great day and i'll see you soon